it. That didn't take very long. Didn't even hardly get them all set out. Good morning, folks. It's January 21st. About 8.15 in the morning. Getting a bite on this one, too. Good way to start the day. Just got some fresh shad. Just got set up. This is my first set. Was just tightening up my last rod. And this one went down. Look at this fish. See the belly on this fish? If I can get a hold of it. Look at that. You think he's been laying right on the mud? On the bottom. Small little fish. A little blue. I've got two baits. Or two rods set out with small six odd hooks and small pieces of shad and two with uh, eight odd hooks and big pieces of shad. I'm going to just see what they want. This one I actually put a float on. I only had one with a float. I may have to put some more on. At any rate, glad to have you with me. We're going to do a little catfishing today, obviously. I'm starting out doing a little anchor fishing this morning. I may go to some vertical drifting. We'll just see what happens. Okay, I just turned the camera off. I was getting ready to move, and sure as the world, this rod went down. It feels like pretty decent fish. Yeah, not that big. Bigger than the last one. I think I can get it without the net. I've moved out here in the middle and started vertical drifting. We got an anchor out in front. I've just got four rods straight down. Again, I've got two small baits with six odd hooks and two uh, larger baits with eight odd hooks. Again, this came on the smaller bait. I'm thinking these fish are uh, not wanting a big bait. That's a decent little fish. Still want something bigger. Never fails, you turn the camera off and then that's when you get a bite. I'm going to pull these up and make a little move and uh, then we'll get back with it. take very long. I marked some fish out here. The fish I marked were bigger than this one. It's on one of the smaller pieces. Thank <laughs> you. 
fish came up and jumped clear out of the water. It's lively. Another blue, not huge, five, six pounds. Very big, but at least he ate it. About like the other one, maybe a little bigger. Should have netted him. about like the other one. They're all the same size today. That's five, six pounds maybe. Let him go. At least he took it good. I was just getting ready to reel in and go to another spot. I think I still will try something else. See if we can get a little more action. like a little better fish. We got one we can weigh. Get rid of my mess. 
Finally a good fish. That's how you get slimed, but it's worth it. It's a nice fish there. Let's see what it weighs. Six twelve. Finally got one over twenty pounds. It's about time. Twenty six twelve. Off she goes. Nice, isn't it? That's catfishing for you. That fish came on one of the small baits, one of the smallest baits I've got out there. So we may have to downsize them all. Okay, I'm sitting uh, over 62 feet of water. That bait's just up off the bottom. out there. Lost my cigar. It's always the best way to catch one when you light a cigar. Here's a very important tackle tip for all you cat fishermen who like to have a cigar every now and then. Ashtray. Take your coolie cup, take your can of choice, cut the top off of it, four ounce no roll sinker in the bottom of your coolie cup, put your can on top, your ashtray will never blow away. Just my tip. Well, it's getting late. Uh, it's about four o'clock. It's been kind of a tough day, pretty slow. Didn't catch a lot of fish. Had one decent fish. Uh, may be back out tomorrow. They're calling for rain. Maybe not. If so, you'll see me tomorrow. If not, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for being with me.